Hey vapors, hope y'all are having a great day. I know my day turned out great when I had this in the mailbox, when I found it in the mailbox. Uh, it's a DNA 30 chip mod and let me tell you, if you're on the fence, can't decide if you, if you should buy one or not, uh, go for it because it is a, a very nice piece. The high wattage uh, variable mods, uh, the chipsets are are just spectacular. Uh, you don't have to uh, build yourself a 0.2 ohm coil anymore. Uh, you can you can build a 1.3 coil and get the same amount, if not more, out of it. Um, right now, I'm vaping. A dual coil uh, 1.7 ohm coil, dual coil uh, build, and it's working tremendously. Uh, like I said, if you're on the fence about the DNA 30 chipset or even the SX 350 chipset, hey, go for it. Uh, I bought this one as a pre built mod. And I don't know if if you can see that if it'll focus, but it's 1.7 ohms, and I'm vaping it at 20 and a half watts. I'm gonna show you a little vapor production from it. It's really good. I could turn it up a little bit. Let's see. Let's turn it up to uh, 25 watts. See what it does. Well, we'll stop at 23 and see what, what happens with that. It's a really nice vape. It's compact. It holds one 18650. Uh, I've got a, a Sony VTC4 in it. Uh, it's 20, uh, 2100 ma, uh, 30 amp continuous, 60 amp pulse. Uh, like I said, even the SX350 chip, I've got a chip uh, that I've got now. I've got to get a, a project box and some battery holders and tactical buttons and things like that to build it with but I am sold on these high wattage variable mods uh, the chips I think they're great um, I'm gonna have to to readdress my building techniques uh, because you know you don't have to build sub ohm actually as far as the DNA 30 chipset goes uh, this device works better uh, at above 1 ohm to about 1.5 or 1.7 ohms it really works very well so anyway this is just a short video I wanted to uh, give you all a heads up on this if you're on the uh, fence about it It's a great mod. It's the uh, best money I've spent on a mod, I think, so far. And, uh, you know, I, I, I don't know how. It, I guess it'll hold up pretty good. It's, it's very well built. Uh, the wires and everything are, are, are very neat. The connections are solid. Uh, it's just a really well-made mod. And I know that... Uh, Hannah Mods is in the process of uh, taking VaporTech USA and maybe a couple of other uh, vendors to court over trademark infringement. But uh, as you can see, this this doesn't have any uh, serial numbers. It doesn't have any logo. And as far as I know, uh, there's no patent on the design. So we'll see where that goes. But anyway... This was just a heads up. 
Uh, if you're on the fence on the DNA 30 or the SX350 chip, go for it. It's well worth the money. So y'all have a great day. Vape on, vape strong, and I'll talk to you later.